All right, so have you ever been curious as to how the semi-autonomous driving system Super Cruise works in a GM vehicle? I'm in a Cadillac Escalade and I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so we can't talk about the Escalade and Cadillac without talking about this feature right up here, which they came out with first, which is the autonomous, semi-autonomous driving feature called Super Cruise. And why I'm pointing to this is because this is part of the process, not to mention this in front of me here. So first of all, if you can see this little, uh, you know, button here, little screen here, that is what's gonna look at my eyes, all right? Even though I have sunglasses on, you can still tell if I'm looking at the road. Once I'm looking at the road, I have my cruise on, adaptive cruise, of course, obviously. What I can do is there's a button here on the steering wheel with a little steering wheel, okay? I click that button, that'll light up in green, which is indicating that Super Cruise is good. I didn't have a lot of people around me, obviously, at this time, so obviously it's gonna work well. Now, as you can see, I have my hands off the steering wheel. It's keeping the cruise control on. As you will be able to see, of course, we're on a straight line right now, but when we do get to corners, which is gonna be coming up here, you'll see that it will turn for itself. It'll keep you in its lane. It's using something called LIDAR. It's basically, of course, uh, you know, mapped uh, uh, geography of the roads. In fact, uh, GM Cadillac has up to 400,000 miles of roads in Canada and the U United States. I'm up on a four lane highway here in Northern Ontario, Canada, a uh, pretty rural area, and it's working here. So again, though, it has to be a divided highway. It can't be a two lane highway or when traffic is oncoming for obvious reasons, right? So again, as you can see, it is steering, it is keeping me in the lane. It will use the adaptive cruise control portion, of course, to slow down when it's getting uh, closer to other vehicles. Um, and it also uses all the sensors in the vehicle to determine when it's safe to pass or not. So for example, if I hit the turn signal, again, I'm not touching the, 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 the throttle, the gas, I'm not touching the steering wheel, I'm doing nothing other than, of course, concentrating on the road. What you can do is if I hit the signal, it'll actually change lanes for us. So checks first changes the lane, I hit that signal off, there we are, we're in this lane now. And that's how you can pass people, obviously, right? If you're getting up to somebody, it's gonna start slowing down from the adaptive cruise, you turn that signal. Now the cool part is there is a transport coming way back there behind me, but if that transport was close enough that it deemed it would be unsafe you know, due to the speed that transport going versus how fast we're going, it wouldn't allow the, the vehicle to turn in, it would say canceled. Now, there's some other things about this as far as you know safety perspective of course obviously the idea behind this is some people think well i'm gonna be able to sleep and, and you know text on my phone as it drives that is not the case this is actually very sensitive and i've tried it you know just by looking away a little bit just to see what would happen and it's pretty reactive to when you aren't paying attention initially it'll flash blue and then eventually it'll flash red and when it flashes red what it's going to do is actually slow the vehicle down and pull you off to a safe shoulder uh, you know, because again, maybe you fell asleep, maybe you passed out, uh, or again, you're not paying attention and it does not want the Super Cruise to be used. It'll become de deactivated. And again, it'll pull you um, off onto the shoulder. So it doesn't just become deactivated and then leave you hanging and gonna run, you know, run off the road. It'll actually pull off the road for you. This system is so cool. Now, keep in mind, the one thing I do have to tell you, you do have to have an on-site subscription. Of course, it needs to have the uh, geographical, the satellite mapping, of course, to where you are. So keep in mind, if you want the Super Cruise in your vehicle, and you're lucky enough to actually get it because of course we do know there has been constraints on these super cruises not only in the Cadillac Escalade see I took my eyes off there for a second um, not only in the Cadillac Escalade but also in the you know, those Sierra AT4X for example Sierra Denali Ultimate um, those trucks there are not gonna have the super cruise uh, in a lot of cases just because they couldn't get them so all that being said OnStar is a subscribe service that you need to get in order for the Super Cruise to work. But what an amazing system this is. I love it here on this four lane. If I'm going, you know, on a long trip, uh, it does relax you a little bit. Maybe I could eat my, uh, you know, hamburger along the way, whatever it is, as long as I'm still uh, paying attention to the road, but I don't have to have my hands on the steering wheel. It does the driving for you. Very smart, intuitive system. Super Cruise, what an amazing feature, again, that this Cadillac Escalade offers.